Assalamu alaikum. The review for the week six. Okay. Here we have three formula. Formula number one, two, three. The antiderivative for the inverse trigonometric functions. You remember that the tangent inverse of x, the derivative, it is one. It represents the derivative of x over one plus x. If you have y equals sine inverse, of the antiderivative, it is one over radical one minus x squared. And the, antideriv uh, the derivative for secant inverse of x, it must be positive to be defined. So it is one over x radical variable minus one x equal minus one now the antiderivative to memorize with me dx over a squared plus x squared it's one over a tangent inverse of x over a plus c the antiderivative dx over radical a squared minus x squared we don't have one over a direct sine inverse of x over a plus c and the third one the antiderivative the antiderivative dx over x radical x square minus a square it is one over a secant inverse x over a plus c do practice here 61 part a this is related to which rule for the sine inverse related for the sine inverse this is related without square root plus tangent inverse and this is related for the secant inverse in general in general yes time now integration dx over radical a squared minus x squared this is sine inverse of x over 3 plus the part a part b integration dx over 5 plus x squared it's 1 over a a it's the square root of 5 tangent inverse of x over square root of 5 plus c part c dx over x radical variable minus pi equal this is represent for the secant inverse and we need one over radical pi secant inverse x over radical pi plus c sometimes here if we have integration x power 5 over 1 plus x power 6 dx here let you 1 plus x power 6 since the derivative it's 6x5 dx so we can set x5 x5 if we solve for dx it's du over 6x5 simplify x5 with x5 so it will be 1 over 6 outside du over u du over u it is len absolute value of u plus c so it represents the final answer then absolute value the answer must be in terms of x clear but in number 11a we cannot take all 1 plus x power 6 u we cannot cancel x squared so here we need to rewrite we can rewrite as the x squared over 1 plus x3 all squared now let u equal x3 the derivative 3x squared dx plus z dx equal du over 3x squared we replace substitute dx by du over 3x squared we can cancel x squared and put outside the coefficient 1 over 3 du over 1 plus and here we substitute by u u squared this represents for formula number one 
the tangent inverse 1 over 3 tangent inverse of u plus c the final answer tangent inverse of 3 uh, x3 plus c. and here as you want to know put the value of a the square root of 1 1 so here we have 1 over 1 and here over 1 so we can ignore it so sometimes we need to rewrite to get it as a formula. Here, I have here x, 1 over x. It's related for lin x since you can take lin x u, the derivative of lin x, 1 over x dx. So assume we have 1 here, 1 over x dx, we can substitute by du over radical 1 minus u squared. This is the present for formula number 2. This is sine inverse. Sine inverse of u plus c in terms of x is sine inverse ln x plus c. Here, the coefficient of x squared, it's not, not one. So we need to rewrite here. dx over x radical. We can take it common factor or rewrite. We can rewrite as a 3x or square minus 1. Let u equal 3x. Derivative 3dx. dx equal plus z du over 3. Now substitute here by du over 3 and here by u. x radical u squared minus 1 and dx du over 3. We can take 1 over 3 outside du over u squared minus 1. I want to eliminate x, so we go to the relation to solve for x. x equal u over 3. If we take the reciprocal 1 over x, it's a 3 over u. So we can substitute 1 over x by 3 over u. 1 over 3, 3 du over u squared minus 1. Cancel, cancel. du over radical u squared minus 1. Here we have u. OK. Now this represents for further number three, it represents secant inverse. The square root of one is one, so direct secant inverse of u plus c. This is represent secant inverse of 3x plus c. Section 5.9, it's exactly same as 5.3, but here for the definite integral. So it will be same procedure for 5.3, but we want a little change. Since we have definite integral, we can do it by two methods. First method, do it same as indefinite. Let u equal x squared plus one. What's the derivative? Two x dx and plus that dx equal du over du over two x. Substitute integration and zero here to x. We replace u and dx. It would be u power three du over two x. Cancel x or x. One over two outside. U three du. Here the common mistake for the student you put the boundary zero two. It's wrong. Since we have a new variable, you cannot put 0, 2. This is boundary for x. So we'll do it as the indefinite. Now integrate u4 four over 4. It means 1 over 8. Return to the old variable and in terms of x. Then we apply the first part of the fundamental theorem. F we replace the upper boundaries minus the lower boundaries. So substitute one over eight here, power four minus power four, replace x by two, two square four, four plus one, 
0 squared plus 1, the final answer will be 6 to 5 over 8 minus 1 over 8, so it would be 78. So it's same as the indefinite. When we return to the old variable x, we apply the first part of the fundamental theorem, f of b minus f of a. And you can check your answer by calculator here. The th second method, and it's better for you to use the second method. I will write the question again here. x squared plus one power three dx. Same procedure, let u equal x squared plus one du 2x dx implies that dx equal du over du over 2x. Since I have new variables, so it's better to change the boundary. If x equals 0, this represents the lower boundary. Go to the relation, substitute x by 0. So the lower boundary will be 1. If x equal to the new boundary will be 2 squared plus 1 means 5. So the new integration will be from 1 to 5. Here you cannot write 0, 2. Clear? This is a common mistake for the student. Now 1 to 5, substitute this is u and here du over 2x. So x u3 du over 2x. Cancel x, cancel x. 1 over 2 u3 du and I have the boundary with respect to u. 1 over 2 integrate u4 ala 4. It means 1 over 8 u4. Then we apply the fundamental theorem. Here we can substitute with respect to u. 5 power 4 minus 1 power 4. It's easy for calculation here. It's a second method. The final answer will be exactly same, 78. You can do practice in your textbook. Good work, guys. Take care. Salam alaikum.